Welcome to mrdanielim.blogspot.sg Welcome back. Today we will be discussing uh, math heuristic, okay, logic reasoning. Now this is, um, this is not the routine type of questions that you will have in schools. And in fact, most teachers will not regularly touch on this method or this type of questions. Okay, this is a non-routine non -routine question. Um, it will sometimes appear in exam uh, under maybe difficult questions. Okay, um, let's take a look at the question. Abby and Ben had some money each. The amount of money that Abby had was a whole number. Abby wanted to buy a watch using all her money, but she was short of $90.50. Ben wanted to buy some the same watch using all his money, but he was short of $1.50. The total amount of money that both of them had was still not enough to buy the watch. How much was the watch? Now first thing we have to decide is the method that we are going to use for this question. Now there are three main methods that we can use for math questions. Number one, model drawing, which is very very common. Number two, unitary method, usually for uh, percentages and ratio especially for ratio most of the time we will use unitary method then we have the third method um, for fractions which is branching okay now for this is more than less than uh, total whole part whenever you see this model drawing okay zoom into model drawing now then we have to decide after deciding on model drawing then we have to decide how are we going to draw the model now usually in schools what we teach as teachers or what we learn as students or uh, what your teacher is going to teach in school okay abby and ben got two person so you will draw two bar abby for one bar ben for for one bar for this question we are just going to draw one bar why because we are interested in the total amount of money okay let me underline for you okay we are interested in the total amount of money okay that both of them have was still not enough now what does it mean it means that the watch is one whole bar but when you add abby and ben inside the model it's still not enough there's still a gap there okay now this question is only one step the answer is only one step but the deriving of the the answer is not easy now let me go through the model with you now the total cost of the watch okay i'm just going to draw the bar here now it is one whole bar the watch is one whole bar okay so this is the cost of the watch now abby wanted to buy the watch using all her money but she was short of 90 dollars and 50 cents that means she has a very i mean quite little money so i'm just going to draw a very small bar here okay now this is abby okay now then i'm going to draw ben ben wanted to buy the same watch using all her money uh, all his money but he was short of 180 now instead of drawing from left to right i'm just going to draw from right to left because in all they are not going to take up the whole the whole watch because they what they have together is still not enough so i'm just like leave a small gap here okay this gap is a not enough and then this whole part okay is actually what ben has okay this whole part is actually what ben has Okay, this is Ben. Okay, now I'm going to draw just uh, a few more. I'm just going to add in a few more information. Huh? Okay, if I draw the line down, I extend all the way down. Okay, we know that when Abby pay, she's short of this much, which is $90.50. Okay, then when Ben pays, okay, I'm just going to draw a line down this is what Ben pays okay he is short of here which is one dollar eighty cents okay now let's focus on Ben for now focus on Ben okay now Ben is short of 180 okay now let's say if Abby if Abby has one dollar eighty cents they would have enough to buy the watch already am I right so Abby definitely will not have $1.80 
he will have less she will have lesser than that so she can have 170 she can have 160 she can have 150 and so on and so forth right because she needs to have less than 180 then they have not enough to buy the watch if she has 180 then they can buy the watch watch already so this clue this underlying clue is very very important okay they have not enough then the next clue that we need to know is the amount that Debbie has was a whole number. Now 170, 160, 150, they are all not whole numbers. The only whole number from here to here is $1. So all these are wrong. What we have is $1. So Abby actually had $1. Okay? So if Abby had $1, this Abby had one dollar. Then we can plus with it because this one dollar I draw the line down. Here is one dollar. Okay, so the total cost is actually ninety dollars fifty cents plus one dollar, which will give you ninety one dollars and fifty cents. This will be your four marks. Now, if you want to check, okay, how do we check? Now Abby had one dollar. Not enough to buy. She needs 90.50 more. So correct already, right? Because 91.50. Now then let's say if it's 91.50, Ben wanted to buy, then you find out what Ben is, then you plus 180. Then you get the total cost of the watch again. So this answer is the only answer that we can get because of the whole number. Okay? So two things uh, I want to highlight before we end. Number one, determine what type of model you want to draw. Is it one bar or two bar? In this case, it's one bar because it's part, part, whole. We have the parts, we don't have the whole. The watch is the whole. Okay, the other clue is after you found already, it's very simple already because it cannot be 180. It can only be 170 and below. Then they will have not enough. But because it's a whole number, it cannot be any other numbers. It cannot be 50 cents. It cannot be 30 cents. It can only be $1. So from 10 cents all the way to 170, the only whole number is $1. That is why this is the answer to the question. Okay? I hope you learned something. If you uh, really don't understand, just rewind the clip and then just watch again. Got questions, please leave a comment there so that I can do my best to help you. Okay? Have a good day ahead or if you are in the night, have a good night ahead. Thank you very much. See you soon.